what's going on everybody welcome back to another video and today we're doing an audio only review as i'm going to be doing a just a quick review before i head into work for my buddy's brand new film what have i done this is written and directed by tla also stars tla also known as tajaya the man the myth the legend behind blacktastic media and this will be hitting the blacktastic media youtube channel on October 27th of 2022. Uh, this is a film. This is a feature length film length. This is a 49 minute film that he's just dropped. And yeah, he let me check it out a little bit early. The same with the last two films that he put out. And I just want to take a moment to just commend the guy for having so much will and drive and passion for his art to be able to just go out there and film these movies back to back especially when he was doing them during the pandemic and these are films made on a, a shoestring budget you know these are films that are made with uh you know just passion and, and 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 drive really and and you know this isn't being created by a massive studio this is a a, a man with a dream who brings together other creative people a lot of times him doing most of the work and yeah, it's just amazing to see the fact that he keeps putting out these films. And so, yeah, I definitely want to take a moment to commend him on that. And, and also just recognize the fact, that, and I said it in my previous reviews for his films, but I truly believe that given a, a, a massive crew and, and a lot more time and money and, and like, you know, actual funding for, for one of these films in a big way, um, I, I really would be interesting to see what Blacktastic Media would come up with. So, yeah, without further ado, let's talk about this movie. This is a werewolf movie, and that's all I'll say on that. Uh, I don't want to get too deep into the spoilers, but essentially this is about an individual realizing that they may possibly be a werewolf, and uh, they kind of have to learn things about themselves over the course of the film. And this main character is actually played by Tajaya himself, Blacktastic Media, the legend himself. And uh, yeah, you know, overall, again, uh, again, I just have to commend uh, the amount of work that he puts into all of these and uh, just how many different things he pulls together, different kinds of media, different footage, different things that he utilizes that maybe aren't necessarily things that he shot, but are able to help his his um, his his movie, whether it be news broadcast um, or some sort of cityscape or something like that. And so, yeah, I really enjoy the way he incorporates all these different elements that he finds in different places to put his films together. And one thing that I found was interesting about this film, more so than his previous films, is it almost felt like a an artsy kind of poetry film in a way. Uh, one thing that I have mentioned in my previous videos for Black Tastic Media films that maybe I'm not the biggest fan of is the fact that at times it can feel like we're spending a lot of time on scenery and location and just filming these things versus filming the characters and actually seeing uh, a traditional story unfold. But what I found was interesting with this one is it kind of felt like an art piece that had like a poetry element to it as a lot of the dialogue does have this this rhyming element to it that kind of um you know takes one word and will kind of flip it on its head and and definitely has a, a very poetry kind of approach to it and so i found that to be an interesting thing about this this one and i kind of felt that the things that maybe in previous films i wasn't a, a huge fan of when it came to blacktastic in terms of the way he would shoot scenery and kind of have it be a lot of what was on screen uh, i felt like it worked a lot more this time around with all of the dialogue that felt very much in, in tune with poetry which i believe was is, at least for me it seemed like that was intentional uh so yeah overall i found it to be an entertaining watch i i do think like i've said with other blacktastic uh, media films is that you never fully know how somebody's going to take something and so i think that there are elements uh, of this that are maybe a little bit slow for some. I think there are some elements where some people might crave a little bit more of a narrative from these films with Blacktastic. But if you're looking for something different and, and just interesting and just trying to see a YouTuber trying to create something like on his on his own and just, you know, take the different pieces he can and, and just see something kind of admirable in that sense. I, I think it's super, super awesome to just continually see what Blacktastic Media is doing. I think each film is getting better and better. And so I'm very curious to see what the next production is already. And uh, yeah, you know, this is just uh, really just a shout out to my buddy Blacktastic Media. Uh, despite there being moments where I felt that this was a little slow and some things that I think could take some viewers out of it, uh, I was uh, happy to see my buddy creating something new and uh, just continually seeing his skills being sharpened with each production so again a big thanks to you guys for stopping by and a big thanks to my buddy blacktastic for letting me check this out a little bit early again it will be hitting youtube his youtube channel on october 27th again a big thanks to him for letting me check this out a little bit early and a big thanks to you guys for listening and we'll see you guys in the next one Bye bye